Steve Hartman has the story of one small town's field of dreams. 250 miles south of Denver, near the edge of isolation, sits the tiny town of Branson, Colorado. Blink and you'll moose it. But Branson does have a sight to see, what many have dubbed the worst football field in America. No, I, I don't dispute that title. Brad Doherty is the Branson High School athletic director and head dirts keeper. How bad can a football field be? We would go out before every game and fill in and collapse as many gopher holes as we could find. Uh, it felt like Bill Murray and Caddyshack. And the grass would stab you, the grass. Maybe you land in cactus if you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but the Bearcats loved football enough to endure until the end of last season, when the other teams in the league said they wouldn't play on this rocky rectangle of high desert anymore. It was just too dangerous, they said. It was pretty heart-wrenching to hear that people didn't want to come play on our field. Football in our community is the one thing that grabs everybody and brings everybody together. Which is why Brad decided to attempt a Hail Mary. Had the kids make a video explaining how they needed artificial turf because they didn't have enough water in Branson to grow real grass, and how the price shocked the school board. We need your help. Brad posted the plea on social media, hoping anyone outside Branson would see it. You just do that for kids. But this was a goal that was destined to fail. Yeah, and that's why it was so amazing. Thanks to the kindness of strangers from across the country, Branson's Bad News Bearcats are back in the ballgame. Ended up raising more than half a million dollars and now have the best field in the league. They just had their first game and won by almost 60 points. But Brad says the bigger victory is the field itself. It became something that we show our kids you can aspire to do great and impossible things. An oasis of inspiration <laughs> for generations to come. Hey, good job, Owells. Good job.